Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier, and welcome to another no bullshit video on my switch from a HOTAS to a dual joystick. Since I became a backer in 2014, I've been looking for that perfect immersive controller combination that's also accurate and effective. I started out with a keyboard and mouse, which is an effective and cheap starting point. You get the ability to precisely aim all gimbaled weapons, plus it takes up almost no desk real estate. I wanted a more responsive experience, so I switched to a game controller for about 7 months. I found with that that I had much better control over my ship, but I lost the ability to aim my gimbals. I bought a Track IR which is a head tracking device. It allowed me to fly with a controller, but still have control over where the weapons would aim, just by tilting my head. At that time I also picked up voice attack due to the low number of buttons on the controller. Now I felt I truly found the perfect controller setup. This setup also allowed me to test out a stand up desk. That switch was really good. I could play for much longer without getting tired and it felt more natural. In March of 2015, we lost track IR support and CIG also balanced how all the weapons and hardpoints worked. That meant I lost the ability to aim my weapons, but more importantly, I would need to go down a step to run a full gimbaled loadout. I started to fly no gimbals fixed with a controller. The tiny thumbsticks made it very difficult to smoothly track the pip. The motion was a bit jagged no matter how I adjusted the slopes. I felt totally let down. I fell out of love with my trusty controller and committed to a full HOTAS Warthog. Because it's a replica, it doesn't have a twist axis. I also needed to adopt pedals, and the pedals forced me to sit back down again. It felt like the right switch, but at the same time it was a total compromise. It was stupid expensive, and I gave up my beloved stand-up desk. The worst was yet to come. The learning curve to transition from a trusty gamepad was real. I wasn't remotely competitive in a race, I was crashing into everything in Arena Commander and making stupid rookie mistakes. I was actually really upset, it looked as though I'd spent a ton of money for an inferior setup. Determined to make things right, I spent hours and hours in Arena Commander totally not enjoying the experience. It felt like work, but gradually I started to become much better. After about a week I was really comfortable with my piloting ability, but it wasn't the same as before. I can't tell you specifically how long it took for me to get to where I am now, but it was a deliberate amount of practice. There's no replacing that trigger time. The full HOTAS turned out to be the most rewarding experience to date. I was recently tracking down some posts on the forum about people who've tried dual joysticks. To me that would mean I could ditch the pedals and even return to a stand-up desk. I started to look for people who could help me build a left-handed warthog, but before I committed to that, I wanted to make sure that this was actually what I wanted. I picked up a $40 T16000M joystick from Amazon. So, no joke, 10 minutes. I had fully transitioned over to the new setup and I was even outperforming my old dogfighting with the new double joystick. The switch was so much easier this time and I can't tell you if it's because I'd already gotten used to the HOTAS or if the dual joystick is just somehow more intuitive. What I think is going on is that the fine motor control of a hand is just much more accurate than the broad application of a leg or foot movement. I'm totally sure that some of you are going to disagree with me, but that's alright. Some of you diehard HOTAS pilots are more than welcome to your opinion, but do yourself a favor and find a way to try this out for 10 minutes. The final setup was really simple. On my left hand I have pitch and roll like an airplane. On my right hand I have thrust front and back bound to Y and yaw bound to X. On my right thumb I still have my thrusters up and down and strafe left and right. That's all 6 motions easily reached with 2 hands with full precision. My bindings are set up like a plane because that's how I fly and that's how I've gotten used to it. But if you've never flown a flight or space sim, I suggest learning to fly like a spaceship. You might have noticed that I've never bothered to bind the twist motion of the T16000. My end state is still to get a left handed warthog which won't have a twist. I don't want to learn all those bad habits. So to wrap up I want to say, first. CH is about to launch a fully updated line of products in the next month. I hope that we as a community continue to see more availability in ambidextrous controllers. Second, the current T16000M is one of the only joysticks that can be configured left or right handed. It has more than enough buttons and axes that you could run it as a single stick. However, if you bought two of them, you could technically have a full double controller suite for under $100. And third, I now feel that I've wasted two years searching for the right controller setup. The reason I make these videos is to prevent the community from making my stupid mistakes and to learn from my personal experiences. If you're just starting out in Star Citizen or you just want to test it out, I strongly recommend getting a pair of these sticks. Stay tuned, I might end up making a video in the future demonstrating a mirrored pair of Warthog controllers. I hope you found this video informative and entertaining. If you like my no bullshit approach, please like and subscribe to help me get the word out about Star Citizen. My goal is to grow and I can't do that without citizens like you. Thanks and I'll see you in the verse.
hostile contacts remaining.